You know the hardware guy on the first floor? It looks like Miss Oxford dumped him again. But he's not giving up. <laughs> I can't help but want to cheer when I see someone trying so hard. <laughs> Nothing sticks out to me. I don't have time for this right now. Why are you investigating real blood? That's my job. Nothing more, nothing less than that. It looks like a lot more to me. Whatever it looks like, it's nothing to do with you. Is this what you wanted? Holy shit. What kind of trickery is this? A good magician never gives away his secrets. So, why do you only go after real blood cases? None of your business. Then we may have a problem going forward. I have certain personal circumstances that mean I can't back down. Personal circumstances? <laughs> Look at you. I have a duty. A duty to lay out on a slab every single scumbag involved in real blood. Anyone gets in my way, no matter who they are, I ain't got no mercy. Now get lost before I slaughter you. Derek Buchanan, at this point in time, I've no proof that this man is D. But so long as that possibility remains, I'll need to keep an eye on him. Tell me, United States Marshal, what is justice? What do you want to know now? The belief that drives you? <laughs> Anything driving me 
withered up and died long ago. All that's left for me now is duty. fashion senses what about this outfit uh, soup just look how long has it been since we last saw such abhorrible style you really don't have a clue about art yet do you it's nothing to be ashamed of the art world will accept your challenge anytime you want to make I think that means no dice with this outfit. What am I missing? what you're looking for oh uh thank you i found it on one of the seats maybe a kid was playing with it i just need to be more attentive no problem i assure you but why do you even need the manual it's a bit late once you're on board yes well i'm new to this job new enough to need a manual Anyway, what was it you needed the manual for? I'm afraid I can't tell you. And whatever it is, is it something you can do with your bare hands? Oh, that's right. I also need the toolbox, but I can't seem to find that either. She isn't asking outright, and yet she's quite skillfully making requests of me. No problem. I can play along a little longer. you the goods I didn't ask for your help sir huh I also don't like the way you said that you sound like a drug dealer old habits I brought you exactly what you needed doesn't that warrant a thank you like I said I didn't ask for your help I still don't have everything I need either I'll bet that attitude of yours makes you lots of friends. That has nothing to do with you, sir. <sighs> so come on, what else do you need? What? You'll find it for me? I've started, so I'll finish. It looks like you have your hands full, too. Okay. I'd like a blanket. The cabin does get chilly. You'll find it in a bag with the tag TFI B0065. A blanket with a tag on it? I think she's giving herself away, but I'll play along a little longer.
Do you have difficulty remembering people's faces? No, remembering faces, names, are two things that I'm normally good at. But I didn't remember you. Don't worry about it. I have one of those faces. So tell me, is the flight going well? Why do you ask, sir? I don't mean anything by it. You don't? It certainly sounds like there's something specific you want to know. Just like you said. No deep meaning. Hmm. It's cloudy, but everything is fine. There's no need to worry, sir. Please just return to your seat. This blanket is heavy. Really heavy. What's in it? That's no concern of yours, sir. Why so specific about the tag, then? One blanket is like all the others. Why did you need a specific number? <sighs> I cannot answer that, sir. You can't? Just who are you? A flight attendant on AG Flight 117 to Boston. And who may you be? A passenger on AG Flight 117 to Boston. Hmm... Huh. You remember what I first called you? Stowaway, right? I hope, for your sake, that isn't the case, Mr. Passenger. Olivia Jones. She definitely knows something. I just hope she doesn't get in the way of my search for D. If she does, that'll mean a drastic change in our relationship. Can I give you one piece of advice? What is it, sir? If you want to look like a member of the cabin crew, try to smile a little more. You're always so on guard. One might mistake you for... Undercover FBI? What does that mean? That you've got a face which is easy to read. Who are you, really? Just a curious passenger. I'm sorry, sir. I really do have to get back to work. Sure. Sorry to get in your way. What are you doing here? <laughs> this big fella. I've met him before somewhere, but I can't remember where. My scar is desperately trying to tell me that he knows something. Big 
sky, weren't you? Trying to take it while I was sleeping? Is that your ass or your head? No more messing with this puppy! Uh!
Just... Who are you? I... <gasps> Rabbit? The courier, he... vanished? Control be an issue if I can't find it. Huh. Sir, can I help you with anything? Where's Olivia? Excuse me, sir. Exactly which Miss Olivia are you searching for? Olivia Jones. She's a member of the crew, just like you are. I'm very sorry, sir, but she isn't aboard this flight. Come on. Did that lightning strike you too? She was right here a moment ago. In any case, you need to contact Logan Airport immediately. Tell them we have an emergency up here. Also, get the BPD to send some cops to the airport. Detective Forrest Kazan in particular. Give him my name and you'll have no problems. Well, excuse me, sir. Are you hoping to use this confusion for something nefarious? If so, I'll have to stop you. Next Damn it. time, I'll break more than your watch. My most humble apologies, Mr. David Young. This incident has us all a little riled up, I'm sure. Huh? I'll make the call about the suspicious person immediately. To our destination, Ronald Reagan International Airport. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work.
What a beautiful sunset. It reminds me of the day I proposed. <laughs> Little Peggy. I'll find who killed you. I will. I never. This is a problem. Where is it? Tell me, where did she go? Like I said, sir, she's not aboard this flight. That's impossible. I talked to her. And. And what, sir? Olivia had a gun. A gun? Please, don't even suggest such a thing. She pointed a gun at me. Are you saying I was seeing things? I think you must have. Maybe it was a pepper shaker. Even if she was on board this flight, there is absolutely no way she would be able to get a gun on board as well. It was a Glock 26. I'm very sorry, sir. Perhaps the shock of the lightning has caused you to be... confused. Whatever the case, I have to talk to her again. Then you'll just need to keep on flying with us. If you get lucky, you'll end up on a flight with her. Eventually. That's not really what I meant. Are you looking for something? Not at all, Mr. Young. I am completely at your disposal. Have you contacted the airport? Yes, 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 of course. Are you telling me the truth? It looks like you're so busy searching that you haven't done anything yet. I'll find what you're looking for. You just contact the ground. <clears throat> That's very kind of you. Very well. I have lost a glove. A glove? And it has to be this specific one? Yes. It's a special order, perfectly fitted to my hand. I'm in serious trouble without it. Why is he getting so upset about a glove? He's more high-strung than he looks. This is a problem. Where is it? I found the glove. It's all burnt up, though. Ah, thank you so much. That's... okay, is it? No problem. I don't want to use it. You don't? So... what's going on? Nothing that concerns you, Mr. Young. This is my problem. Simply recovering the glove was the most important thing. Huh? What does he want with a glove that can't even be used anymore? Just being high-strung doesn't explain that. I need to probe a bit deeper here. Do the emergency doors work while in flight? It's possible to manually switch over to door mode. 
but just touching the controls to do so causes an alarm to sound in the cockpit. You would be better off not to get any silly ideas, sir. What if that alarm was broken? Deactivated? What are you planning? I'm just trying to figure out the method of escape used by Olivia and the Vanishing Man. Method of escape, is it? How many emergency exits are there? How much do you know about the Federal Aviation Regulations? Hmm... They are the safety regulations as set by the Federal Aviation Administration. In accordance with them, a commercial aircraft must have enough emergency exits that all passengers can exit the aircraft within 90 seconds while only using half of them. That is what the rules state. We call it the 90 second rule. So, how many emergency exits are there? Mathematics are clearly not your strong suit. With crew, this aircraft can carry almost 140 people. Let's say 30 people can escape from one exit in 90 seconds. That would be one person every three seconds. Dividing 140 by 30 therefore indicates that at least 4.6 exits would be needed. Now, twice that are required by the regulations, which means the required number of exits is nine or more. That means even you and your lack of math skills have a chance to escape, sir. Could you escape by opening the windows in the cockpit? The cockpit windows do not open. You aren't as smart as you look, Mr. Young. Indeed, the construction of the seat and cockpit windows is very different. While the seat windows are three layers of polycarbonate resin, the cockpit windows are five layers of reinforced glass and polycarbonate resin. Seat windows are 14 millimeters thick, but the ones in the cockpit are 45 millimeters. Passenger windows are designed to withstand external pressure, but the cockpit windows have to be able to withstand collisions with birds. Open windows like that, sir, please. You know quite a bit about this airplane, don't you? It's only natural. Our passenger's safety may rely on it. Natural? I'm not sure I'd use that word to describe your encyclopedic knowledge. And I'm not sure I'd use the word encyclopedic. Why, this level of knowledge. Even you could easily attain it, Mr. Young. Easily? Yes, very easily. How? Why, by taking a quiz. Quizzes are a great way to remember almost anything. You want to give it a try, don't you? Looks like I stepped on a landmine. I'll give you some simple questions. All you need to do is answer them. The beginner level only needs three correct answers to pass. Are you ready, sir? Question. What is jet fuel made from? That is correct. Kerosene doesn't freeze at low temperatures and gives off no soot. That makes it extremely effective as an aircraft fuel. Okay, next question. Question. How many parachutes for passengers does a passenger aircraft carry? That is correct. Letting an amateur loose with a parachute would do them no favors. If something should happen, don't think about jumping out. I would instead recommend adopting the brace position. Next, the last question at the beginner level. Your luck runs out here. Question. What are airplane tires filled with? That is correct. Friction with the runway causes aircraft tires to become very hot. When this happens, using nitrogen minimizes the risk of fire. 
which is also inert, doesn't oxidize and contains no water, so it doesn't expand. Nitrogen is therefore the perfect choice when it comes to landing and taking off. Oh my, this is quite something. You've cleared the beginner level. Congratulations. However, that's all this was. The beginner level. Next comes the intermediate test. We'll get started as soon as you are ready. <laughs> uh, it sounds like the quiz master isn't done yet. Ready for the intermediate quiz, sir? Think you have what it takes. The intermediate level needs five correct answers to pass. Question. How can you tell at a glance if an airplane carries passengers or cargo? That is correct. A cargo plane doesn't have windows. There are no passengers to look out of them after all. Getting rid of the windows also makes the aircraft lighter and also increases the strength of the body, like for military aircraft. Even something like a single window makes a big difference to an aircraft. Now then, question two. Question. Why is the air very dry inside an aircraft? That is correct. At high altitude, there is a large gap between inside and outside temperatures. That means moisture in the air would cause condensation to form. If that water rusted or froze, it could block pipes, causing all sorts of issues. That's why the air inside of the aircraft is kept very dry, to keep the aircraft safe. Now then, question three. Question. What do the pilot and co-pilot have prepared for them separately? That is correct. It prevents both of them suffering from food poisoning. Everyone has heard that though, haven't they? However, what about on the ground? Did you know they eat different meals before they even take off? Always think of the worst possible scenario and act accordingly. We are true professionals. Now, next question. Question. Why are the internal lights turned off when landing at night? Oh, that is correct! to get the passenger's eyes accustomed to the dark in case something happens. I might also point out that this is also one of the 90-second rules. Now we come to the final question at the intermediate level. You are doing quite well. Question. Where are airlines legally obliged to place ashtrays on board? Well done. That is correct. Of course, smoking is not allowed, but some people don't always obey the law. Failure to properly dispose of a cigarette could cause an accident. So, even though they aren't allowed to be used, lavatories must have ashtrays. What's more, these regulations were also stipulated by the Federal Aviation Administration. Hmm, well, five questions in a row. You're smarter than I thought. We aren't finished yet, however. The advanced level still awaits you. We'll start as soon as you are ready, sir. Beginner, intermediate, so next is advanced. Not a problem. I saw this coming. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the advanced quiz. The advanced level requires no less than 10 correct answers in a row. However, 
I'm also adding a new rule. You must answer each question within five seconds. Are you ready? Question. Who first succeeded in powered manned flight? Correct. They originally made bicycles. Question. What is the name of the device that constantly records aircraft data? Correct. It is attached at the back of the plane. Question. Is the captain's seat on the left or right side of the cockpit? Correct. Well done. The seat on the left side of the cockpit is always the captain's. Question. What is the highest passenger class? My, my! Correct! Maybe you'll sit there yourself one day. Unlikely, but maybe. Question! When a bird crashes into an aircraft, it is known as a bird what? Yes! Correct! In fact, that is the name given to any incident of a bird hitting a structure. Question! What is the name of the President's jet? Okay, correct! Currently, a modified Boeing 747 is used. Question! What is the name given to the control for angling an aircraft up and down? You didn't mess it up. Correct. There are three control axes, and the other two are roll and yaw. Question. What is it called when two aircraft almost collide? Another correct answer. Passenger planes are fitted with devices to prevent near misses. Question. What is the largest aircraft manufacturer in America? Correct. Their headquarters is in Seattle, and they also build spacecraft. Question. What name is given to thrombosis caused by always sitting in the same position? <laughs> Correct. It is also called long haul syndrome. Staying in the same uncomfortable position for a long time is bad. During a flight, you should keep moving about and massage your legs. Well, you answered them all correctly. Congratulations! Yeah, thanks. Like I said at the beginning, anyone can reach this level easily. You have proven that, Mr. Young. Oh boy. right into that one. I've proven him right. We're kind of past the whole glove thing now as well. But if he has such a great memory, why doesn't he remember what happened between us before? Oh, by the way, the squeaking window. What happened to it? What squeaking window? Could they have escaped through that window? I have no idea what you're talking about. That lady in the middle of economy class? She's the one who got all worked up about the squeaking window, right? You mean on the west side? Yes, the west side window. She got all excited, shouting. I don't recall any such incident. Are you mocking me? I might suggest that you are mocking me, Mr. Young.
all looks fine. There's nothing here. The cherry blossoms and snow are switched. The cherry blossoms should be on the back. When did you move to this seat? Lightning strike. How did you know about it before it even happened? Don't tell me you can control lightning strikes. Your ability to look is not bad, but you need to be able to observe a little more. Carefully. skills. You already know the answer. Am I correct? Do you know what happened to the courier? It might be said that I do, and it might be said that I don't. If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. Either way, Mr. Young. You cannot ask me to do your 
job for you. What about that female member of the cabin crew? You mean Olivia Jones. You saw her. Did she remind you of little Peggy? What do you know about little Peggy? Blonde, blue eyes, and a mole by her eye. Did she smell of the same soap, too? Just how much do you know? Everything. You told me all of it yourself, Mr. Young. You're overlaying your memories of little Peggy onto Olivia, aren't you? Just, who are you? It was a snowy night. I remember it very well. Is Amanda doing okay? Amanda? You know her, too? Her well-being is a good thing. A good indication of your own well-being, Mr. Young. What's going on here? What have you done to me? Can you finally see them? These are things with a special meaning for you. What are you talking about? Can them if you can. You may discover something about her.
What are you talking about? Mr. Young, I've placed a memory left by her in your house. That memory belongs to you, Mr. Young. Talking about leaving something in my house, a memory with her. Clover, little Peggy. Could it be? The cherry blossoms and snow are switched. No mistake. So what does that mean? There's nothing here. Cherry blossoms and snow are switched. No mistake. So what does that mean? It's a domestic flight. No large bags. There's nothing here. 